Is this thing, is this thing on? Is it working? What's up, you guys? Oh, I'm, I must be coming in twice, one sec. Yo, Chris, thank you for the resub, man. Straight out of the, straight out of the gates. Thank you. How's everyone doing? Long time no see. Sorry I didn't stream that much in the past week. I just kind of, uh, I've just been making music on my own. I kind of, I missed for a little bit making music just like completely alone. Nothing against you guys. You know guys, you know you guys that I love you. But, sometimes I gotta be alone, you know? The introvert, the introvert in me needs it. <laughs> I don't hate you guys. Yo, Kimmy, Kimmy, thank you for the resubscription. You stuck around for six months. I can't believe you guys have been around for six months. Oh man, I've broken your guys' hearts. How do I, how do I regain the trust? <laughs> Fuck. The stream not starting off strong. This this comeback stream. Wall to wall bangers. I don't know if I have a banger in me tonight. Sounds oddly suggestive, but <laughs> possibly the nightmare coming true. That'd be such a different way to start an album, man. Sweet. Okay, so they can regain trust through music. I like it. How are you guys all doing, though? Your jokes aside, how's everyone's weeks been? It's getting kind of cold here in Toronto. It's like officially fall weather now. The coldest, hardest trap beat? Dude. My trap tracks are all trash. Whenever I try and make them, I reassess them the next day and I always go like, who are you posing as, man? You ain't hard. And then I trash the track. Neon Music, I'm doing all right. Finished my first track that I'll release. Yo, congrats, man. That's really, that's exciting. It's your very first release. We all have to celebrate when it finally comes out. You gotta let us know, right? Yeah, yo, Paper Skies, all these tr Toronto restaurants closing down. It sucks. All the best places too, man. It's like the little mom and pops, family owned restaurants. They give the best food, but they're getting hit the hardest. Yo, from Singapore, what's up? I gotta go over there if it's summer right now. This freaking cold weather right now, man. Official paper says, yeah, so, sorry, I'll, I'll, uh, I've literally just been working on a little break beat. I still have to put it, ooh, it's gonna, I might have to turn off some plugins. I think it's gonna be. <laughs> this is a classic thing. Have, haven't streamed in a while, and the second I stream, all of a sudden, it's like, oh yeah, that's right, you have CPU issues. I think it should be alright. Okay, cool. Yo, season one, what's up, man? It's good to see you here. <laughs> You've been scared to go to the gym. I feel the same way, but for different reasons, man. I'm just afraid out of sheer laziness, man. Gonna gain so much weight this, this quarantine. Let's go. I think that's the goal. I might just uh, reinvest in a, a new rig. I feel like it's stupid though, because I just got this laptop so recently. Oh man, it's really struggling. It's so bad. It check, check, check. Okay, sweet, sweet. Yo, chat, what's up? What's up? I'm sitting at 99 CPU right now. You know, I'm gonna get rid of one of these plugins. I'm like super liberal with these. 
Something's causing it to float at like 60 nonstop. That's a little bit better. It's probably eating up. Let's see, my task manager. I hope that didn't fuck up stream for a little bit. Okay, let's check. Looks like it's just FL Studio and OBS. It's, it's definitely because I'm streaming too. Yo, actually, I want to ask you guys for this. So, okay, let's say I have this problem. Um, what's like the best way to stream smoothly so I can offload my CPU without like having to upgrade my computer? Because I don't want to have to do that yet. Bitrate stuff? So like settings in OBS? Yo, Masso Music, what's up? What's up, man? It's good to see you. Long time no see. Canceling, yeah, canceling apps I'm not using. I've closed everything that I don't need. Also, delay on stream. Use GPU. Okay, so I am using my GPU. Um, I checked the bitrate off of Google and like derived that based off of my internet and it's pretty meager right now. I'm pretty sure I'm at like 2500, 2500. So it's like pretty damn low. Uh, NVNC, yeah, I am. Is a good route like a capture card or something? Can I just capture what's on my screen? Let's see, it could be this plugin too, because I haven't ran this. Oh, it's on normal oversight. Uh, hmm. It's kind of odd that it's doing this. If you have another computer lying around and capture card, you can capture your production screen just through. Okay, sweet. Smart disable, I'll do that again. I, I should have that done. You get, you guys are gonna get so sick at this break at some point. Okay, there's one thing also. It's strange, but sometimes when I minimize OBS, and then so having OBS up on my second monitor slows down my computer ever so slightly. So if I have my chat on my phone instead, maybe that that would work. It is kind of weird. I wonder why that's the case. Something about displaying OBS, seeing a live feed of it. Sometimes it's gonna be fucking 2020. Okay, cool. I apologize for that. I'm such a noob. I haven't streamed in a week and this is what happens. Yeah, the PBQ, I have that down to like just before the lowest rate. So I think I'm, I'm pushing it right at that point. But this is workable for the time being. Thing is, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in this project anyways. I've been like making this break for the past <laughs> like half hour to an hour. So I'll just get along with it and then uh, I'll pull up OBS when we can on, on a project that's appropriate. I'm sorry if I missed something in chat, just notably, because like I'm looking at my screen and I can't see as many chat things, so I'll just see. Actually, is it better to have Streamlabs open in phone? How's the latency? Events? Is there no like chat in Street Labs? The latency is totally fine from what I can tell. <laughs> Imagine just, just people are willing to watch me have to freaking tech support this stream. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I hope you know that. I just checked for that chat room switch. I, I might just do that. Oh, wait, wait, okay. Wait, wait, let's test. 
Okay, no, I can see it now. This is good. This is perfect. Elena, what's up? Welcome. Welcome back. Okay, I think we're good. I'll get started. Sorry about that, guys. So yeah, when I minimize OBS, it's totally fine. It must take up a couple cores just to run that or something. Okay, so this is really basic. I'm gonna have to create some fills right here. I want like uh, some jingly things. Am I on an A core? I think I'm on a hexacore. I think. Yo, it's so different reading chat from on on a phone, but this is kind of cool. I like it. Have I gotten that new count splice pack? No, I haven't. I haven't actually checked it out yet. I gotta check that out. I'm feeding some new samples. Did you grab that yet? Damn it, I wish I could see the follows. I, mean, I have to click on events to see that. Sorry, I can't see who followed most recently, guys. Usually I like to thank you if possible. Okay, let's, I'm going to look for some perky things. Here it is, the one I always use. Yo, Nick. Is it Nick or Niche? Thank you for being here, man. Thank you for the kind words with the music. It's nice to see you here on, on Twitch land. I'm very new to this as well. Yeah, I, I normally can see it, Chad. It's just like I have to minimize OBS this time, otherwise this project won't run. Which sucks. I wish uh, uh, I could have it. Normally I have chat up on like the second monitor, but for some reason displaying it is uh, causing my CPU to overload slightly, which is weird. Oh, you can have it to appear in chat. I see. I see. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Oh, I've seen that on other people's streams, actually. This is way too loud, sorry. Sounds more like a secondary thing. Actually, right now, I'll lower the buffer rate even further. That with changes maybe might help. Oh, no. Yeah, actually, the buffer rate's better at 512. I shouldn't have changed that. Is that drum fill from your pack? Uh, no, I just... I'm using addictive drums to make it, so right now I have it programmed in, in addictive drums, but then where the kicks and snares are, I just have some one shots that I made thickening them up a little bit. I like doing that with addictive drums because it kind of gives an acoustic quality to uh, your samples when they're layered. Yeah, I, yo, dude, I tried 1024. For some reason, it's even worse. I don't know why. I'm sorry about that, guys. I wish this could be like a streamlined process. We need to worry about CPU issues. It does limit the things that we can do on this project, unfortunately. But it's okay, it's okay, we'll work with it. I feel like this is a little bit much. Unsure of the location of those. They're not exactly in the spot that I like.
the, the tails were slightly. That's what I'm thinking too. It seems like uh, there needs to be like slight velocity changes, especially in the kick. Um, it comes on like on and off too quickly or, or too, um, like there's not enough of the ghost kind of kicks in these. Yeah, because these are all really low. Let's see. So that one's actually fine. I think it's this one. I have to lower that. Yo, t the, the Ghostbusters are here. Dude, I watched Ghostbusters recently. Classic movie. Always. That theme song is the best. Oh, t you haven't seen Ghostbusters before? You gotta check that out, man. If, if nothing for Bill Murray, he's such a quirky dude on that, in, in that, in all those movies. Oh, this is our Phasmo teammate. Yeah, yo, we got to play Phasmo again. Oh, I want to play Phasmophobia. It's such a funny game. I hope they don't make the character models too realistic after the pre-beta, because there's something so funny about the derpiness. You're like, ooh. <laughs> they look so funny. <laughs> it's so funny when you look upwards, their back just like, <laughs> okay cool let's get something melodic on this um sorry i'm just working on beat i always get super self-conscious about just working on on a beat on stream so i've been playing around with this new plugin which might be causing the cpu issues with stream right now but it's a really sick plugin, man. The clean sounds out of guitar are unreal. Oh, control room. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. That's, I always get my head about this stuff, so I appreciate when you guys say stuff like that. Also, if I'm super chill right now, it's because uh, my, my sleeping schedule, for some reason, is like normal now. So I finally know what like nighttime feels like. I'm approaching like the tired period of the day, you know? What's going on with me? This is too adult. Yeah, the plugin design too, right? The thing is I like I suck a guitar and still when I hear things played through this plugin, it's like, okay, so that's what like a good tone sounds like. Thank you, Corey. Pulling <laughs> the wrong one. That's, that one still sounds out of tune. Oh, I must have messed it up. My brain is not working right now, as, as I just spoke. We're, we're, we're so ready today, can't even tune a guitar properly. Why does it keep, um... I don't know if there are any, like, people who own guitars and know how to, like, maintain them. But I notice sometimes like strings, when you hit them, they stay, um, some of them are more consistent than others, but the pitch like fluctuates. Is there, is there something I need to like, uh, like maintain on this? So like the strings hold the intonation more, more stably, or is that just like a factor of guitars? <laughs> Evolution art. <laughs> Eric, come on, man. <laughs> come on. 
Come on, man, you can't do me like that. <laughs> Like, I didn't even change this preset. I don't think I even need to. Heard once, tune above, and then come down to pitch to hold it better. Oh, okay. I've noticed that too, because sometimes I have to, like, straight up take my recordings and pitch them up a little bit. I actually sold on these percussion things I just added. I think I have to really tuck them because I don't really like them. I right, just figuring out some chords. I think some rhythmic stuff. should work with I think that should work King Cruel yo dude King Cruel's music is so good that guy has so much swagger <laughs> he's like this thin ginger dude but then I'm like I can imagine you smoking a cigar in a leather jacket and it wouldn't feel out of place was how you type B type B. Yeah, we're going straight in for this today. <laughs> we're not going around, we're not weaseling around this. find some take in here to repeat. Dude, right? The tone of this plugin is crazy. Just imagine this in the hands of SZ and Young Team. Actually just like this take. Let's see if you can patch these two together. Hijack an old take. Yeah, I just didn't have parametric EQ on this.
<laughs> Definitely needs more clay in like just every pot and pan. Every sample used, man. So, I have a rag in here now because I saw someone... They said if you just throw some shit up here, it'll like mute your instrument. And I suck at muting this thing, so I can use all the help I can get. And it, it actually helps. It does help. As stupid as it looks, it actually does help. Use an old sock? Yeah, it's gotta be an old sock. I feel like that has more soul than this microfiber cloth that I have. Using an old sock is so much more like... for the vintage sound. Oh, I should probably tune it without this thing. Tuning bass instruments, it's always so freaking hard. There's so much fluctuation. Yo, Paul, thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, sorry I streamed so late today. Was, uh, I'm glad you just stopped by. It's good to see you here. The chin power! There we go, we got her back in. All right, we're in business. Yo, young team, what's up, man? Sugarbuck, what's going on? Welcome. I haven't seen you around this stream before. Welcome to the family. Young team, how you doing, dude? We were just talking about you and how this plugin archetype, Corey Wong, would be so crazy in your hands if you haven't gotten this yet. Oh my god. <laughs> I could just see you using the crap out of that plugin. Oh, you've only tried the demo? Yeah, what are your takes on it, man? Everything sounds so good out of it. Clean. Oh. 
wanted like last little emergency <laughs> comping takes I love making racks in Ableton for cool guitar tones I see a place for it in my life though yeah dude there's also the fact you always want the next plugin man it always taps into that little reptilian part of our brain where it's like yeah we need the next best thing seven Yeah, the multiple instances of things, that makes a huge difference. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do a bunch of cutting. But... spend money oh man what a what a good problem to have man <laughs> mm -hmm. oh dj dj dlg long time no see man how you doing is all of our stream right now is von streaming mm -hmm. I feel like these could, this one is messing up the rhythm a little bit. I let this one ring out a little bit too much. Yo, now can, Dylan Griffin, thank you for the follow, man. What's up? You usually work with full projects like album EPs in mind or just put things together as they're produced. Yeah, I kind of just make stuff. Um, and then after you've amassed, or I've, I've amassed enough demos, then I kind of start to group things together. And it's like, okay, this might be worthy for for the Robotaki project versus, you know, just beats that will find another home. Oh, Lab West. Dude, welcome back to the stream, man. It's good to have you back. How you doing? Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you're digging it. I think it goes right here. off this one.
I'd be, you know, I'd be ecstatic about that. Thing is, this doesn't have enough, doesn't have enough of, uh, his funk soul is like 211, man. <laughs> the tracks he lives on is, they're crazy. I, I would love to, to work with him on something though. That'd be such an experience. His drumming is crazy. I don't understand how he can sing and drum at the same time. Rap and sing and drum at the same time. <laughs> Just two clicks <laughs> off the six. Too good. Heard a little bit of like a ghost kind of thing here too, by accident. Oh, and then bailed ship at the end. Okay, let's see if anything feels awkward. <laughs> Have you met anyone with the drip plugin? Dude, I wanna try it just because of the memes now. With just two clicks. It's amazing advertising, man. The marketing on that plugin. Like. That was the equivalent of Emerald Live going like. BAM! And then getting huge because of that. I'm working on some Houdini stuff, I'll share one of the Hell yeah man, drop that, drop that. Let's see if we can... I feel like the bass groove is there. There's some mixing. The guitar is a little bit still too mid heavy. Uh, we can figure out some stuff on top. Dude, Houdini. How do you even navigate that? That's It must be crazy. Music and tech, such a perfect marriage. Underappreciated, but it's such a perfect marriage. <laughs> In my garage with my new Lamborghini. Man, those ads, fuck, they're so cringe, dude. And then they started to have those like self, self-aware quote unquote ads where they would like poke fun at people being in front of their Lamborghini. So instead, they thought it'd be funny to be in front of like a pink Lamborghini. It's like, no, you're, you're still being <laughs> obnoxious as fuck. Yo, Maxo, what's going on, man? Maxo. Congratulations, you're you're a producer, Harry. Congrats on finishing a track though, man. That's that's always exciting. I 
kind of like it finger like picked instead with no pick noise. Max, so how am I doing? Dude, same as always. Um, I didn't stream for a little bit because I just was enjoying making music alone and just like it, being creative in that space again. But then I, I missed streaming out. Streaming out. I miss streaming and like hanging out with you guys. Like making music on stream is such a different context for making music. Um, that sounds stupid to say, but. <laughs> It's fun to hang out between both of those those kind of environments because you come up with different stuff. <laughs> Let's hang out. I don't have COVID. How can I trust you, man? I'm gonna hit you with a temperature gun. <laughs> I don't have COVID too. I promise. The temperature gun from uh from phas fan fan phasmophobia. I always mess that up. that uh, I feel like I never got it <laughs> one day there will be a, a time I'll be like oh I actually got on the first take today that is not today <laughs> That's all that matters. Can you please take the cowbell track and put it to max volume? <laughs> I'll do that in the final take of the track, man, I promise. Oh, off the six, dude, thank you, man. I'm glad I'm glad you dig that track. It was a ton of fun to make that one. Like heavily inspired by kind of like the future bassy sounds that were out there, but hopefully it was my own take on him. I really don't know what I'm doing when I try to make future bass, so. take these and then maybe I'll have it go once only and twice Messed that up again there. Damn it. Sorry, I haven't ch checked up in a sec. Yo, Max, so take care, man. Thanks for stopping by really quick, dude. Have a good night. 
<laughs> this track makes you want to make good memories with it. Hey, dude, I love that comment. Me too, man. It feels like that vibe, right? Oh, Cosmos Midnight, dude. That, that's that been on rotation for me lately. Every track on that album is so good. It's just like all the music is so solid. Thank you, though. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed my album, man. Thank you. fix the ending yet. Okay, we stumbled to the finish line, but at least the parts were there to put this together. Uh, random no bonds. I know nah, dude. You're good. Don't worry if anything on uh, my end starts messing up though Please let me know My Peter's acting up. I can't even have chat on my second monitor right now. So if the audio messes up Give me a poke. Give me a shout Seventeen Save. Thank you. Yo, Connor, what's going on, man? Howdy. This is still ringing out a little bit too loud. more character and also covers up for my like crappy tone <laughs> I think that's what was getting me mostly I really want this to anticipate the beat it just seems weird without it I think it's okay we can get away with it this down damn that render speed for just a, a small pattern what's a clone centaur plugin why does that sound so intense 
What type of sounds come out of that plugin? <laughs> is it just centaur no noises? What do centaurs even sound like? So many questions. <laughs> 70s pin vibes, yes. Clown Centaur is a famous overdrive pedal. Shit. I'm, I'm so not well versed. Price it hardly yet, but oh damn, are they like some of those vintage ones that sound like really warm and because they're made out of like different they have different circuit paths or something? I don't even know. Dude, it's so above me. I have no nothing about guitars, man. <laughs> Crap, I gotta look up some some guitar like tech history. I'm here just playing like, yeah, archetype sounds good. <laughs> okay, let's get this. Uh... the one I wanted to fix up. I thought I fixed it there, damn. Base weirdness that I want to feel. Don't know if I actually fixed it. Something initially sounded a bit weird there. But it's okay for now. Is there anyone you'd want to collab with in the future? Damn. It's weird. I haven't like until recently I haven't been Oh. Oh man, it just fell down. That was a cool sound though. It fell so perfectly it landed so it's balanced on its side right now. Stereo Mania, what's up man? Indie Rock, same to you. You came right at the perfect time. How are you guys doing tonight? Okay, now we're just gonna jam over this. I don't even know what I'm working on tonight. I've just been making random beats this entire week. And this one's coming out kind of like, um, it was based off of this break that I first started with. And it's just turned into, uh, like someone said, some 70s pimp music. <laughs> Pretty chill. Um, yeah, let's thicken up some of these chords a little bit. Oh, whoa, that's not, I love things just whenever you lose faith in the sample, just pitch it down, and maybe you'll regain your faith in it. Pitch it down or slow it down. Immediate vibes. 
That <laughs> sounds better than the kazoo melody. Dude, when you gave me that, I honestly tried my hardest one evening to try and fit it in. And then it became one of those things where it's like, fuck. Okay. Maybe conceptually it was dope as hell, but I'm having trouble right now. <laughs> Thank you for recording those, though, man. It was a good thought experiment. I'm sorry to, <laughs> to waste your time like that. I feel bad. <laughs> Okay, so right now, my main issue with this, not that there's like, you know, there's still a lot to fix, but it's just like a jam track right now. Like, we have a little bit of melody, but it's not really melody. So let's figure out something that's a little bit more like, memorable, I think. something there. I still haven't figured it out exactly. Sorry, it's taking a while. Oh, yo, Sandra, what's up? Sorry I didn't see you for a sec there. Have a good night. Thank you for stopping by really quick. Um, I don't know how, how long I tuned out there for the... Lumi, it's good to see you too. What's up? 
I love how followers come up with the most interesting ways to describe the vibe of his music. <laughs> hey, yeah. That makes me happy. As long as everyone has a certain vibe to it, you know? Okay, I think there's something there though. I, I just have to figure it out. Just figure it out, just figure it out. Um, so... I'll jam out and then see if we can get something usable. Oh, Sandra, of course! Yo, I, I thought it was such a cool thing that everyone set that up. It was honestly so, it was so heartwarming to see that. I hope, uh, I hope you enjoyed that gift. It was really, really cool to read. It was, it was just cool to see, like, the community you've built. You know, a couple months ago, this, this family on Twitch didn't exist. And now we do. And that's dope. Oh man, listening to monkey bars? Oh, different time, right? Yeah, indie rock, try not to, to get caught up by that. I always do that myself, man. It's just the way our brains work. But it kind of sucks that we don't need to always bog ourselves down with comparing ourselves with other people, but it's so stupid. We're all on our own paths. We all have our own trajectories. Our lives, they meet, but they don't. They don't collide. They just kind of join. Why am I getting so philosophical right now? Jesus. <laughs> what am I on? This is what happens when it's the late hour sesh. trying to go for it at the end there. Oh god, I wasn't fucking recording anything. Hell yeah. Bane of my existence, man. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I don't even know if I got it in one of those. Oh, sorry guys, I will team back in the chat raft right after I get this. Otherwise I'll keep postponing it. <laughs> So I started selling weed as a side hustle. <laughs> Broken into the Twitch chat, man. You can always come out with the bangers.
Oh, uh, exceptionally average. Thank you, man. <laughs> you're playing, you're blasting your head with a sine wave right now, dude. You're gonna lose that one specific frequency. It's just gonna be like dead for some, for some reason. <laughs> oh, Vito. My dude, it's never an obligation, but I will be here for the next 22 minutes at the very least. Thank you, man. Hit that old lady. It sounds a little too stable. I also have a problem the way it kind of re-enters. This feels way too major. to hit the low yeah it's actually a problem with these I think just happened wait i heard something oh lumi it was lumi thank you for the subscription dude appreciate it oh it's so nice to see obs like i just popped it up in my second monitor for a sec random no bonsai what does a regular day in the life of quarantine look like for me yeah pretty much the same thing i wake up make some coffee open up uh fl studio Lay down a really preliminary idea while I'm drinking coffee. Then I get hungry, make breakfast, eat breakfast, watch Twitch for a little bit, go back to making music. All of a sudden it's dinner. I have to make dinner, prep dinner, make music while dinner's being made, eat dinner, make music, blaze a little bit, get caught in a cycle of anxiety. My darkest thoughts keep cycling in my own head. Suddenly it's 3 a.m. And I'm, and I'm shaking under my covers. That's the regular day in life of uh, Robotaki, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Let's go, man. <laughs> Thank you, Vito. I'm just trying to. I'm trying to step it up. You you come into these chats with uh, just the crazy shit. <laughs> Eric, you just you just unmuted me. What a time to unmute, man. 
Okay, so this is definitely, you know what, I don't think I'm going to over embellish it. It's always better to have less, so. I'm just going to keep that there. I'm unsure if, like, roads sit over this. It's kind of chill. Oh, this isn't even playing anything. Hell yeah. This, are you talking about this synth? This is called Fab Filter Twin. What's my favorite way to way to make coffee? I only have one way, so I, I guess that's my favorite way. Um, but I have a, one of those stovetop Italian presses. I think they're called Italian presses. And I have to like tap in coffee, slightly push it into this little vessel, fill the bottom part with water, put it on top, and then screw this little top container on it, and just put it on top of the stove. Vito, have I released anything since you've started creeping my stream? No, I haven't. But we're working on stuff to release. <laughs> but I still haven't released, man. There's no. Mocha Pot, that's the name of it. Yeah, it's not an Italian press. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> It's kind of intense, but I kind of like the way that's... Oh, dude, this is the move. This piano is so much better. I just have to give it a little bit of space, but it has so much more life to it. The roads are a little bit too chill. Um, okay. Yo, Alex, what's going on, man? My favorite VIP, Teraxor. How you doing, dude? Have you been playing uh, Fall Guys Season 2? Sorry if I'm looking down today as opposed to, like, on my screen. I have my chat on my phone. So, it's gonna look like I'm just, like, staring down. Maybe I should just put my phone... Actually, no, that's stupid. I shouldn't put it in front of my computer, then I can't see FL Studio. <laughs> Whoa, okay. No, not what I was going for. I might have to play this again. Cause like this fit in the Rhodes context, but yeah, kind of have to play it differently with piano. Oh, you have a DJ set tomorrow? Dude, I'm gonna be there. I'm, I, I love, so I, I'm a complete degenerate and sometimes I get up and it's like midway through your set. I'll, I don't, I'll completely admit, but um, <laughs> it's the best thing to wake up to because I'm, I'm making coffee and you're just playing straight bangers and I'm like, what track was that? It's the best way to get inspired at the start of a day. Al Green's coming in, dude. Al Green's so amazing, man. Kevin, my one of my friends, brought on stream a couple times, but he put me on Al Green for the first time. He played it at his place, and I was like, "Who is this? Who is this white dude with freaking like <laughs> his voice, dude? It has like layers to it." Oh man. <laughs> Same with Sam Smith. The first time I heard Sam Smith, I was like, first of all, I thought Sam Smith was a black woman." Completely admittedly, admittedly, when I first heard his voice. So I was caught off guard to find out that. <laughs> there was a, a really, sorry, I'll get back into music, but um, there was a really funny meme on, uh, on Twitter that I saw recently where it's like, I don't want to fuck this up, but it's like at your family's cookup and then, um, and and they're playing Sam Smith on the on the radio, and then it's just like someone like, <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> oh no no no! I butchered it. It's it's one it's when your white friend plays Sam Smith on with the ox, and then everyone else at the cook up is like, hilarious me man. 
I fucked that up so hard, sorry. I hope- I really hope that didn't come off, like, unintentionally racist in some way, because, like, I butcher trying to retell memes sometimes. Fuck. I blame the weed! It's not me, I swear! You guys will let me know if I ever need to delete any VODs, okay? You got me on that, right? I had to program that in before I figured it out. But I'll just get the regular main pattern first. but I'm happier with some of the second take. Hey, Verona, what's up? What's up, what's up? <laughs> Delete every vibe. Fuck, I'm that bad, guys? Damn. It's a little bit hung too long. I feel like these could be later. Kind of messed it up. problem because it, it wants to anticipate anticipate the beat there but it doesn't happen we'll figure that out yeah lab west exactly man i'm glad you're seeing that too we're on the same page i'm glad it's so much better to have like short ones i think that's the the one the one thing I noticed with uh, piano VSTs is that the releases, I wish you had a little bit more control over it because sometimes the staccato piano notes, they don't come out as realistically as if you're like playing on an upright. Keyscape is fire. Dude, if I open Keyscape right now, it'll straight up nuke my computer. I think that's a good guarantee. <laughs> I want to have it there so bad though. <laughs> If I make more than I put on my build loop. <laughs> hey man, if I just if I just buy off of you. Right? <laughs> The 
there are a lot of things I need to throw on. I'm afraid to throw more effects on these right now, just to set them into the mix a little bit better. Things are coming out a little bit clean, and uh, the mix is sounding a little sterile because of it, but um, I think with some proper effecting and, and EQing, it'll fit in a little bit better. But I might not be able to do that this project with risk to my computer. How do I make a living off of music? Um, yo, it's just straight up off of random disparate sources. There's no one kind of revenue stream. I think when you're working in music, you have to find every single way that you can have money trickle to you. And if you can offload things that are like transient, not transient, like, you can't be working every single hour of the day. So you gotta have things trickle in like royalties. Streaming revenue, as, as funny as streaming revenue is, but just pull from every honeypot that's available. Touring is uh, unfortunately off the radar for the time being, so I think that's why we're seeing a lot of producers on Twitch now. Ooh, this is messed. Yeah, it's ducking way too much. So I'm hoping with this, if I have a sample, I'm gonna add some like, I think like some flutes or something. That'd be cool, I might do that tomorrow. I just wanna hear this as a sample, if this is like a break and we pitch it down. I always do this to like do the sample test. I lowered it way too low. See, the piano is pretty active, so this needs to be the only thing that shows up uh, whenever it does. I'm just going to hear the instrumental alone really quick. Are the chords E, D, A? I think so. Oh no, B A. Did you say B A? Oh no, you said D. Oh my God, yeah. Fuck, fuck. You're so right. God, I'm already feeling the back. Okay, that's a little bit better. I think once I throw in Keyscape, this will be much better. It's also something to do with the, the piano sample. Like this contact library works in the very like, old retro kind of style, but I want something with a little bit more meat. So that's kind of awkward. Yeah, there just needs to be a lot of timing tuning. <laughs> 980k points away. Yeah, you've got this, man. You've got it. Yeah, there's like, 
timing. Sometimes chords don't land with the bass. I just need to start slicing and shifting things around. Sorry, I just opened up OBS. Yeah, Connor's got it. It's really simple, just E, B minor, and then A. With some like random ninths and thirteens thrown in there, I don't know. Something sounded something sounded really weird for a sec there. Yeah, seriously, whenever chords are boring, just throw a ninth on there. Just the simplicity of just rising it. She's a pick for this. Oops. I want this is like a laid just an idea for where things could possibly go. I don't think it'll stay, but. This is okay. I oh wait, who just uh, followed there? Leroy the third. Thank you the third for joining up. We're just working on something really simple here. I feel like I'm ready to hop onto another idea. I got got this to somewhat of an instrumental point. It's a nice little chiller. on 
this next time. There's a little weird. Okay, super vanilla idea. Um, the drums I'm like unsure of. I feel like they need a little bit more treatment because they just sound like drums. <laughs> Not that there's a problem with them just sounding like drums, but I want them. I'm gonna have a little bit more character than this. But as a break, it's cool. I'll, I'll probably render this out and then start chopping it up and using cooler ways. And then this will treat as a little sample. Yo, Stereo Mania, take care, man. Thank you for stopping by really quick. What was that really heavy thing that you were working on a few streams ago? Which heavy thing? Was it like, uh, you mean like bass heavy? Am I using addictive drums again? Yeah, I'm using that a hell lot. Um, if not just to like sequence patterns, I start drum ideas on there and then swap out the samples. Oh, wig snatchers. <laughs> you're talking about wig snatchers? Oh, dude. <laughs> You guys want to hear that again? Oh my god. It's so weird. <laughs> I'll pop it up for one second. I don't want to wake everyone up like that. Let's go. Let's see if we don't get a crash. <laughs> Let's see this. Okay, I'm gonna turn it down just in case because this is, this is, I just blasted it. This is so raw, man. Oh, there's some little new touches. Fun thing, I, or not only fun thing, but one of the most recent happy accidents was uh, having the 808. I put two notes by accident, and one was sliding, and the other one wasn't. And you get these really weird resonances, like that. So it's just two 808s, and one's gliding into the other one, and it makes these really weird, like gnarly. But I haven't worked on it since. <laughs> this is so shameless. All the, the trap tropes possible here. Just spooky synths on the top. <laughs> I'm butchering this formula, but... Oh, Alex, I know exactly which one you're talking about. And I mixed it with, um... Was it... Subtract. I forgot. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. Embellish, that's it. Oh, wig snatchers. We will see this. It will see the light of day one day. Uh, I worked on this one a little bit. Um, very, very old demo. It was like one of the first ones from like five months ago on stream, but I opened it up again and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. 
So I think we should flesh out at least a little bit or attempt to to push it further. That's such a tasty track, man. It was one of those SoundCloud finds. It's so cool that you're in Montreal, man. It just it's nice to know that there are people the people that I'm meeting in this community, like they're not many of them are not too far away from home. A lot of you guys are just straight up from Toronto. You're in Montreal. It's like It's awesome. So this is a really old idea. I don't know if you guys remember this. I hope it doesn't like glitch out when I play this. It was inspired by like gorillas. Um, is it like Fever Ray or something? I forgot what the name is. I was just like prowling through some of my samples and I wanted some like kind of moody but still smoky samples so I found some flutes oh this is not flutes why don't you label that flutes totally wrong this is flutes <laughs> and I thought they fit so little roads things like the little stabs kind of want that higher actually in the mix yo Maso, thank you last summer i spent a week in toronto and then three days in montreal hey sick you've passed by these two of my homes man that's really cool. You got to experience those two Canadian cities. I, I've had personally the, my, the best times in both. I mean, Toronto because I'm bo born and raised here, but Montreal because it's such a it's such a free culture there. Everyone is just chilling. Yeah, Toronto's great too because you get so much diversity. There's so many things to do here. Um, the one thing I wanted to add to this. So right now it's just like the notes. It's da -da 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 -da. I want to thicken those up ever so slightly. And now that we have this plugin, I think we should use it. I want something to just cut through the mix slightly. We should still be in tune, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's go single call. stick with that one. Mm -hmm. 
separate that out. Actually, says it. that first take was atrocious. Seems a little out of tune. Oh, I remember that. This this whole track is pitched up a couple cents. Because <laughs> I didn't tune the bass at first. Fuck. Gotta cut some mids. It's also slightly panned to the left. I shouldn't have raised. It. This is peaking ever so slightly too much. Yo, thank you, man. I haven't seen you around here before, so welcome to the chat, dude. <laughs> Yo, I'm glad you guys are digging it. It was one of those deep dives where I kind of went through old demos, and it's like, I don't know why I kind of threw this one aside. I think the reason I left it for a bit was because it's kind of simple. It's just just power chords. It's just... But, um, like... Sometimes you don't need uh, complex chords, you just need to work the sound design a little bit. I think this is like more of a sound design track. That's all you need for a vibe sometimes, right? <laughs> Let's see, bass only or? Yeah, that's the move. That's totally the move. It's so cheeky, but like. Yeah, that's it, okay. Yo, Mike Snatchers, what's going on, man? The Snatch Man. It's always good to see you around here, dude. How are you doing this week? Oh man, Lab West, that sounds like a total vibe. Studio session. It just reminds me of the best times of my entire life. Every time I've had the happiest moments, it's like some sort of writer camp. A writing camp. Where you just go out into the wilderness with your laptops and all your music equipment, and then you just make music for like a week or two. Ah, oh, that's the best way to hang out. So I wonder, should I have this here just to amp the energy slightly? Yeah, you can almost t not tell it's there, but here you can finally sell.
Simple is best sometimes. I remember the first track years I heard. Oh, you're part of the You Can Dance era. Damn, you're one of the originals. Thank you for stopping by. It's good to have you back here. Always, uh, I always gotta look out for my OGs. That You Can Dance remix. Yeah, I mean, I have the... I don't know if it's on camera, but the vinyl's right back there. It was the first thing I ever received in physical for for doing a remix for someone. Because back then I was working on spec. I wasn't making any money off of music. But it was just cool to have like a physical copy with my name on it. And it was a really cool, special feeling. just to chop up because I feel like having random bluesy chops would be useful to speckle in. Is that going to be... It started CPU overload in midway through that take. I don't know if it's going to be on time. What happened there? Oh, yo, Labwes, thank you for gifting a sub to... I'm sorry, how do you... Is it Chap? It's Chap, right? That's super sick of you, man. Thank you. You're always so supportive, dude. Hey, Vito. It's all good, man. Anytime. You, you... Seriously, I recognize you at this point, too, so... I understand. Sometimes... Sometimes you want that coffee instead of subbing to someone, dude. You know, you're at a Starbucks and you see, you see that expensive ass drink, but it's like, ah, oh, I kind of want that sugar boost today. Spend the five bucks there. <laughs> So it really glitched out there, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to do that again. I might turn off some plugins, so. Yeah, I'll just do it here. I kinda wanna have a lead in. Oh, I messed it up. these chops just as little speckling things did you know you might have a free sub to use if you have Amazon Prime yo thank you <laughs> what a plug he's one of your OG's talking about chili and all that hey all love, man. Thank you so much. Oh my god, you know about the boys. The first time I ever got destroyed by a remix contest, I was like, oh, I have this. I swear to god, I have this. This will be my break. And then it wasn't, because it didn't get selected in that contest. But 
Uh, alas, what can you do, you know? Small victories. How long have I been producing now? About, I think 10, 12 years. I think around that time, but it's been really on and off until the last four, I would say. Yeah, so it's a little bit intrusive now, but I just want this. I know it's gonna be useful somewhere. This beat is so freaking cheesy. I don't know, is it too cheesy? I kind of like the way it is cheesy, but sometimes I go cornballs without knowing it. It's just like. <laughs> Even has like Nintendo sounds in it. That's what I thought too. It has a very like commercial kind of peppiness to it. Peppiness. All right, dope. As long as the cornball radar doesn't go off too hard. See, like the demo before that one, I feel like it was dangerously getting close to like just cheesy breaks, cheesy funk. Um, which isn't a bad thing, but I think it comes down to like the mixing and how you mix something. And the way that one was mixed, it was coming a little too clean. <laughs> Sometimes I go cornball. Okay. I really need just some like angsty British dude with a radio effect on his voice, like highly compressed, just singing over this. He's like, I'm talking about like smoking cigarettes or something. Yeah, that was a little intrusive. Yeah, it's better without anything. Although maybe we could have this be like a little random like in this section. Yeah, really subtle thing, but it kind of makes it more rhythmically present. Surf beach soft drink advert. Yes. <laughs> Yo, you're telling me that's the that's the prime demographic I want to go for for something, man. Can you imagine getting a sink with like Pepsi or Coke? The amount of money that must be associated with something like that. Trying to see if this is gonna. We're at like a minute half here without a slightly proper intro. So maybe we're gonna be at like 145 to 2 here. This would be a good time for some sort of like change up or a break. I mean, just 
possible just to do this again. It is kind of lazy, but if we're doing this in terms of like pitching tracks to people who might vibe with this, the logics, logical side of me wants to just like take this and move it over. <laughs> Flute solo. <laughs> That's actually a great idea. Maybe I should... Tomorrow's gonna be a flute recording day. I think maybe I'll do that. Yeah, the flute solo. I'm writing that one down. Great idea, you guys. I can play flute, I'm not great, but as long as I can piece together small phrases and like sustain notes, then I, I use it to record. I just, I played it in band back in like high school, so that's the extent of my knowledge. I, I don't think this track needs too much more touching up, especially in the streaming context, because usually I like to try and come up with new ideas on stream but this feels relatively fleshed out. So I'll, I'll move on to something else. Um, we had that thing we worked on last time. I don't know if I want to dig back into that today though. I'll, I'll take a look at it pretty quick. Yeah, the time flies so quickly. It's already been two hours. I feel like I haven't done anything. Am I just working really slow? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Please tell me if I'm just working super slow today. I haven't done a nighttime stream in a long time. Time flies when you're having fun. As we wait in silence for these samples to load. You want a flute lesson stream? Dude, my embouchure is probably complete crap right now, though. I probably have to practice for a good couple hours before I can get a clean note out of that thing again. Ooh, I'm hearing double of myself. Hello. Oh, it's because I had the microcosm in for this project. So this is what we worked on last time. It's still kind of in a shambles. Um, I'm not happy with this ending part yet. Still unsure if today's the, the vibe to, to work on this. I'll label things while we... something oh there you go sorry subscribing man the two months have been awesome appreciate you I want to change this synth it would be much more memorable but it's good placeholder <laughs> dude Evangelist all the way. Oh. So like you guys can hear what I'm talking about. This synth is a little lackluster. Like I want it. I just want it to hit harder so that this moment is much more special. Um 
added some extra chords. Walking in a jungle with sawtooth monkeys. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, stacking it is a great idea. Yo, you're coming with the great ideas today, man. Thank you. I'm gonna also write that down. This I gotta just play tracks with you guys more often because you kind of just I have a tendency to overthink things, and then you guys are just like, just do this. And I'm like, holy shit, yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> So this is a little fun uh, work in progress. I don't know if I want to dig into it today. I feel like some of the stuff, um, it's already relatively arranged and I kind of want to work on something a little bit more, um, less arranged. Let's dig up some older stuff then. Hey Vito, take care man. Hope you have some good games, whatever you're playing. Let me guess what you're playing. Are you playing Valorant? Hey, bingo. We were at a writing camp sitting in front of a fire like we were in a Ralph Lauren print, uh, print advert. Isn't that an image? You know that image is gonna look sick. Ralph Lauren always has the sickest photos. Oh no, I think Guitar Rig froze. It has a tendency to do this after consecutively opening up projects. Whoopsies. Ref <laughs> Labwes, what's uh what's GR6? Sorry if you already mentioned this to me. I have a poor memory, so <laughs> F for FL. Always F for FL, man. Oh. Yeah, okay, this is a really simple Guitar, I think I only have guitar on this in slight bass, but I thought it was kind of vibey. Very simple still though. Oh, Guitar Rig 6. No, 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 no. I have it available though. I'm going to install it soon. I can't wait. The interface looks so good. It's so much cleaner. Sorry, I should have made you wade through all eight measures of that. Pause. section yet but I have kind of like this idea of a chord change where it turns a little bit more major here um, something will carry it at this point I'm thinking like strings or kazoo <laughs> Eric perfect damn I'm not th I'm the only one who hasn't used guitar rig six yet Fuck. I really have to start. I've been so tentative about upgrading everything. Um, cause I know I'm just going to get lost. Like it's Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. You know, when you're just playing with Sony and you plugins, you don't actually make music. You just kind of get lost in making sounds. I mean, there's not a bad thing either. Yeah, fuck it. I'll install it. Thank you guys. You convinced me. Oh, Alex. Thank you, man. I'm glad you dig this. 
I really want to fill this part out. Just. Need to get that one thing only. Just to fill it in. half of that oh i need a counter at this point to say how many times i've done this <laughs> how many times or is it gonna oh this is even better i didn't even have it activated oh that's way better that's way better am i gonna buy complete 13 yo your your buddy your main man, Dan, he already hooked it up, dude. I, he, uh... What a G. I can't wait. Oh, dude, Lab West, you are hanging on Eric's stream yesterday, too. Yeah, I'm glad you're... Dude, you're fully integrated into the Twitch... The Twitch producer... The whole world right now, man. I'm glad. I'm glad. Oh wait, let's, is it recording? Oh, okay. Let that die out. Sorry, catching up right now. <laughs> Eric, Mr. Mr. Z Mr. Sue. Mr. Lab. So formal, man. I love it. Oh, Kazuki, yeah, dude, your sample pack is so useful. There's a lot of really usable Foley sounds on there. It's like really textured stuff. Anytime I need 
to liven up some percussion, I just go to your pack. Thank you for sharing that, man. Okay, let's see if this is if this did anything. Hopefully, I don't need to. Oh, maybe I can just do chords. Just... entire thing just to get one little thing at the end. So this is kind of guitar lead E. So this is lowered down an octave, but this one I might not do that. Because it's kind of nice when it brightens up here suddenly. Not that much, but... <laughs> close to it, close to it. too much. It's one of those cloud side chains, right? The ones where it feels like you're bumping along a cloud. own channel. Can't be lazy.
Okay, this will kind of let me do some cooler things with this now. Give it a really slight bit of delay just to extend it. Sorry, let's catch up. Aw, Lab West, dude, you always do that. It's so cool that you're you're willing to just like look at other people's channels because um, you see us all hanging out here. That's really nice of you. We we do kind of have this little community <laughs> that just unintentionally showed up because of. Um, I mean, I'm I'm new streamer, but I I haven't streamed for a very long time. But everyone's just welcomed me with open arms, and it's been really awesome. So welcome to the fam, man. <laughs> flutter a little bit what do I have loaded up here <laughs> no not that oh my god this is gonna turn into Coldplay can't do that. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get DMCA hard. starting to get a little glitchy. I apologize for that. I don't know why my computer seems to be struggling more with streaming more these days. I might just be getting a little bit more um, ambitious with my plug-in use. Do you guys have any recommendations on um, capture cards that are kind of like, hopefully I don't need to break the bank for? Because uh, you guys have been kind enough to support this channel, and I, I, I think now is a good time to reinvest things that have been made through Twitter back into it, so you can, so I can provide a smooth experience for you people. <laughs> Capture just for my display? Is that how it works? Because I have a, a laptop sitting around here that I could probably stream off of. Elgato, Elgato, Camlink. Okay, Camlink. Okay, so this, listening to this a different pitch, I feel like this could actually sit for another another couple measures, but we'll just build on top of this.
This is going through archetype, but it actually sounds pretty sweet. I might make it a little bit too. Oh man, I haven't played with the sub 37 through this yet. Let's go to the stomp boxes right away. It's a little tense. Yeah, right? This interface is so pretty to look at. I just... Whoever put this together, it's the cleanest looking thing. I love... This is gonna be so stupid. It has nothing to do with the sound. But I'm glad they chose this color. Like a not... Like an off-white background, slightly pink. Just is really calming on your eyes. <laughs> Again, pigeon brain, man. I just like things when they're they're pretty and shiny. E right now is a little bit too soft. I actually think it doesn't need that that pedal. It might make it a little bit too pronounced. that tone before swapping it out with tons of delay or um reverb you know you know Turn off multi trigger. Sorry about that. Oh, why is it doing that? Oh man, it's turning oversampling to off. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Flick of the wrist. Oh, Tuper, what's going on, man? <laughs> Definitely late stream today. I mean, it's been two and a half hours. Yeah, I started kind of late today. Just cause I had a lot of phone calls and then 
just kind of got late, but I wanted to stream because it's been a while. I don't think I popped on here for another, for a week about, so. What, do I have a favorite scale? You mean in terms of like modality or, or like, like a key? I always gravitate towards B minor. I love the pentatonic scale because you can fit that. Pentatonic all the way, man. You can fit that anywhere you want. So many chord changes underneath it. It's just, it's fun to work with, uh, with that mode. Plus, like, you don't need to be as technically proficient to kind of work your way around it. I think that's the biggest thing, because... <laughs> I'm far from technically proficient. Mixolydian pentatonic. God damn. Yo, Jason. What's up, dude? Thank you for the raid. What's going on? Were you guys, were you guys playing Valorant? How you guys doing? Oh, Anne, I see you in there. I almost missed you because like, it was right in, in all that text. Anne, how you doing? I'm glad you could pop by for this little late stream that we've uh, done. I might only be on for another half hour because I'll probably get some sleep, but how you doing? We're making something chill today. Oh, Jason, you're good, dude. Don't worry. <laughs> Were you playing Valorant? slow builder I'm thinking something like if I'm gonna use references I could look towards like Bonobo in terms of just how to arrange a track like this a lot of delicate movements and slow rises I, I think I'll be using that for a reference oh and just wanted to hop on and say hi to my favorite producer and best homies in chat that's so sweet of you to say. Uh, it's always good to see you, Anne. I hope you're doing well. Hope this week was good too. I feel like a week went by so quickly. Damn, there's a new Bonobo Olafur Arnolds. I have not checked that out. That's something I'm gonna definitely listen to. Is it on YouTube? Do you guys mind dropping a link if that's the case? Because I would love to take a listen to that. I'm seeing if this... So this needs to lead to something other than this. So I think that's the biggest connecting factor. I wonder if we can pan these. I'm trying to get a little bit more um, courageous with my instrument panning these days. I used to only do panning when I wanted to do doubles and give things stereo, but even if they're different takes now, I kind of like try and push them out as far as possible. Ooh, thank you for dropping this. Let's check this out. I hope it doesn't glitch out when I play in YouTube, but... Oh, wait, wait, hold on. 
Why is it glitching out? Oh, there you go. Yes, we're, we're in business. It's it's uh it's phasm phasmophobia. But you know, the sprite. Have you guys played that game? You know, when you're looking up at the ceiling. So that's what they kind of look like. <laughs> Yo, there's something on the top shelf. Oh yeah, let me let me look for it, man. Ooh. <laughs> Either his own piano or his own piano VST. <laughs> that man's piano VST is a like freaking terabyte. Oh man, this is such a good tune. Thank you for sharing that with me, guys. Totally on the vibe that I've been on kind of lately. Just... Ah, I'm so glad there's like great music still being put out there. Keeps you inspired, you know? Gasmo, so good, yeah, man. I'm so glad you're one of the only people who brought him, uh, that that group up, that 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 artist project. Great reference. Oh, Alan, what's up, man? Welcome back. Um, I'm still working on that track. It's uh, I played it once on this stream, but I only added a couple things. Um, definitely gonna finish that track, though. I'm very excited about it. Cool. I, I'm happy with this. Just the really small addition is this track. I've kind of been hopping projects again today. Um, let's listen to that first thing that we worked on. I'm going to minimize OBS on my second monitor just so it doesn't mess up. I hope you guys didn't mind uh, today's stream. It's kind of a more of a chiller. Oh my god, what a lineup to see. Sakamoto and Krangbin? That wasn't on the same lineup, was it? Or was it in the same festival? That is an OP festival, if that's the case. <laughs> Chiller, goddamn, you killed her. Here's our first little vanilla, vanilla E idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh one sec. I really want to raise the BPM on this. I think it'll have more life when it's higher up. Yeah, higher BPM, right? Trip hop, next one. I have Chrome closed now, yeah. I don't know why that one project is in particular is so CPU heavy. It might be the way I processed the drums because I separated them out in addictive drums. Something to do with the chaining. freeze oh the percussion in that i just uh, i'm using slicer the slice x i think it's called slice x and i just threw a sample on there so it mapped it along the midi and kind of roughly timed them so it makes that little staircase yeah it's kind of a dated way to to create loops i know a lot of other people use um what's that other fl thing 
They probably use Slice X, but I'm using like Slicer, FL Slicer, right? <laughs> what just happened? I gotta open this up. Damn, yo, brownies with lemonade. Yo, what's going on? Damn, I didn't know where you guys were on Twitch. I gotta give you that follow right now. How you guys doing? I miss you guys. I hope everything's going well over there. Dude, that's the sickest. Oh man, I want this emote. BNL. Oh, what a dope emote. You just started Twitch? Oh, hell you. Hell yeah, not hell you. I'm gonna add you guys up right now. Welcome to the Twitch community, dude. Thank you for the raid. I appreciate that. Yeah, this is definitely a throwback moment, man. Hold on, I'm just gonna hit you guys with a follow right now. I'm hearing myself on stream now. <laughs> Sick, I can't wait till you guys start using this platform more. I'm surprised you're not on here earlier. Seriously, you guys are already putting like fire content holding crazy festivals already. And you've done that without Twitch, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, anyone new who's popping around to the stream who might not know me, uh, my name is Preston, I'm also known as Robotaki. I make music uh, and I hold streams every now and then on Twitch just to make music, kind of explore random sounds, just chill out. We're kind of a little music-loving family here, and... The streams are usually really chill, they're just like this. I'm sitting in an FL studio making music. Today we hopped a bunch of demos, this is one of them. It was kind of like a... Gorillaz-inspired one. Sorry, I just skipped this section. I'm sorry. I'm playing the old one. Before I start stream, I always have backups of tracks because, like, you never know what's going to happen on stream. I didn't mean to stop it right at that point. Sorry, guys. I just wanted to show some of the new additions from today. They're, they're really small things. I just layered some new guitar on this one. Um, dude, I'm never going to freestyle rap in my life. I just embarrass the crap out of myself. I can barely hold the sentence together when I'm just trying to craft it completely sober. <laughs> whenever, whenever I watch people do battle raps, I'm so impressed. I'm like, whoa, that that guy just dissed his mom and and just like said he was short with a matter of three words. It's like, how'd you do that? Okay, so it was this stuff. <laughs> It was just a little section. Really small. <laughs> On second listen, it's like, that's all I added. Maybe we can add this little lick. Just at the end. Yeah, 
Yeah, a little touch. You hear Denzel Curry on this? That'd be crazy. I didn't hear it that way, but that'd be cool. Man, I've always wanted to pitch. Like, like so, okay. Uh, I'm making these demos. Um, I don't know where they're going to live. They could be on, like, the Robotaki project. But maybe they could be sent in for beats for other artists. But, like, I don't know how to pitch an idea like this. Because it's not... It's not what's out there, you know? So I don't know how receptive labels would be to something like this. Oh, Eric, what's up, dude? You've already heard this demo. I only added a couple things, but it was right at the end here. So you guys suggested here some flute stuff, so I think I'm going to record that tomorrow. Because I can't do that now with the uh, risk of getting evicted out of my apartment. It's like 2 a.m. right now. <laughs> do you think it's syncable? I'm hoping that's the case, man. It's just I don't even know what that means when pitching something. <laughs> if you guys have a link into uh, Toys R Us, please let me let me know. I know they're a dying company. They probably have a lot of things to liquidate, especially their their gaming section. <laughs> Capitalism type beat. All right, fuck yeah, I'm down. Um, let's see if there's anything else. I'm just doing a little deep dive. We played wig split today. Uh, I had enough of that for now though. I don't know, man. I'm sorry today was so uh, like scatterbrained. I kind of just like hopped all over the place. Hope you don't me mind uh, times that I do that because sometimes I just like to hop different projects instead of just working on one. It helps give a perspective on what you're making. So my take out of these three ideas, um, this one's most fleshed out and arranged. I'm happy with the sounds. I feel like it's sitting in a better spot than the rest of them. The other ones obviously need a lot more work. First the D is cool. Uh, it needs a B section. Then the kind of like chiller bonobo one. I need to do a little bit more research on reference tracks. So it was really good that you guys proposed uh, those bonobo tracks. Because I'm definitely going to listen to those and use those to derive the arrangement. I hope there's something in there that you guys digged or dug. Yo, I don't, I don't know how late it is for you guys, but I kind of want to get one game of Phasmophobia if you guys are down. I kind of want to play that game right now. <laughs> is anyone down right now? I know you guys probably have to sleep pretty soon if you're on the side of the time zones. Is anyone down? I'm even down if it's not a party of four. No, I'm gonna hit up people on Discord, see if we can make a party. Oh, Phasmo Fall Guys. Oh, you're asking. I mean, what are you feeling more right now, man?
Oh, Lab West, yeah, man. Thank you so much for sticking around and, and contributing to these sessions. You always have really insightful stuff to offer. And like, you clearly have an extremely musical ear and like a really deep musical knowledge. I would love to talk to you more about some of your favorite music, man, because um, that's where I've been sourcing a lot of my inspiration. I always have, I kind of always look to the past, but um, I think tonally, like the music from the past, there's something special about it. And I think it came down to like the way it was recorded just as a necessity of the times, but it's cool to try and like capture that and make it come back in like a nostalgic way. Connor, you're down to watch? Okay, cool. All right, cool. I'm down for some Phasma. We don't need to play like a crazy amount. I just want to get a game in. A game or two, you know? <laughs> 